In this video, I have a look around the new GridServe electric full court at Gatwick Airport. Unfortunately, I couldn't film while I was there because on this day, Storm Henk was blowing through the south of England and it was incredibly windy there. The wind was whistling through the full court. So today you've got a voiceover and having a look at the limited photos I took on the day. This is GridServe's third all-electric forecourt and it officially opens on the 4th of January 2024. This new charging hub is at Gatwick Airport. It's at the South Terminal just beside the South Terminal Longstay car park and behind the Marriott Hotel. It is accessible to everyone. You don't actually need to enter the restricted areas of the airport but you do have to be careful when you leave which I'll cover later on in the video. This is a much more compact site than the two uh, existing sites at Braintree and Norwich. Apparently it's only half an acre, whereas the original Braintree site is two acres, yet they've still managed to squeeze in 30 EV charging bays and they've put the shopping, lounge and toilets above the chargers. One advantage of that, of course, is the majority of the chargers are covered, so you are sheltered from the rain. However, on the day I was there, the wind was whistling through the forecourt and I was still getting wet, but it was a particularly bad storm. And of course, all the hedgerows haven't grown yet, so it will get better in that respect. So what we have here is 22 350 kilowatt chargers. All of those are CCS. Uh, but six of them do also have CHAdeMO plugs. There's also four 22 kilowatt AC chargers and also four 250 kilowatt Tesla superchargers. However, when I was there, these hadn't been turned on yet, but they were expecting to do that within the next day or two. The original plans of this site did show that there was going to be eight Tesla superchargers there, but this has been reduced to only four. Upstairs there's shopping, cost of coffee, toilets, a lounge. I did also see there was a car in the corner of the building that you can have a look around, but it wasn't open when I went. There was only access to the toilets, but all of this is going to be apparently opened on the 4th of January. Even though it's very quiet when I was there and it hasn't strictly officially opened yet, there were still two grid surf uh, chaps wandering around the forecourt ready to help anyone who pulled up and had a long chat with one of the guys he spent the last few months up at the Norwich site and uh, yeah just like the other sites there the staff are there to help people uh, and it makes it a very enjoyable experience particularly if you're a new EV driver and you're not really used to rapid charging your vehicle. So just like the other two GridServe electric full courts overall a very pleasant experience and uh, vastly different to the traditional UK motorway services. One thing to bear in mind though, there is a maximum of a one hour stay at this site and after talking to the chap there, clearly they've done this to stop the site being swamped with uh, taxis and uh, hogging charging bays. So when it comes to leaving the site, you've just got to be a bit careful you don't end up entering the airport because that could end up costing you money. If you accidentally end up going into the long stay car park, then you can leave that immediately without paying any fees. But what you want to do is when you leave the site, you almost need to double back on yourself and get onto the main uh, ring road entering the airport. But immediately you need to get in the right hand lane and follow the signs to the motorway and drive past the front of the Hilton Hotel. If you don't, you'll end up going into the drop off area and that will end up costing you five pounds. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, as always, please do click the thumbs up button. That really does help. Do subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see other videos I've made on the UK charging infrastructure, there's a link in the video description below to a playlist where you can see those videos. Okie doke, I'll see you on the next one.